Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Last month I posted a video that the Microsoft Support Diagnostic Tool, which is also called the MSDT tool for short, will be retired by 2025. And as many of you may know, basically this tool lets you run diagnostics and then you can send those results directly to Microsoft for further analysis. Now, as I did mention in that video, which I'll leave a link to in the description, in the then latest Dev Channel Build 25276, Microsoft had started to display a banner that the tool will no longer be available over the next two years on Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now, if the deprecation of this tool is affecting you, Microsoft has recently given us a little bit more information why they are retiring and deprecating uh, the MSDT tool over the next couple of years. Now, as many of you may know, um, we get some troubleshooters that come bundled uh, in Windows 10 and Windows 11, which are found on the Troubleshoot Other Troubleshooters page. And regarding these troubleshooters, Microsoft say that um, they are retiring the Windows Legacy Inbox troubleshooters, like the Keyboard Troubleshooter and the Speech Troubleshooter, and as mentioned, the Microsoft Support Diagnostic Tool that runs them. Now, in regards to this, Microsoft has given us a little bit of interesting info where they say that this will all go into effect on devices running the next release of Windows 11. The next Windows 11 release date is still to be determined. Now, in regards to that, they have given us an estimated deprecation timeline when this will take place over the next three years. Now, um, as many of you may know as well, if we head to the Get Help app that comes bundled now by default uh, in Windows 11, um, Regarding the Get Help app, Microsoft has said that uh, this year in 2023, they will begin redirecting some of the troubleshooters to the new Get Help troubleshooting platform. And then um, next year in 2024, they will complete the troubleshooter redirection and remove the rest of the troubleshooters. And then as mentioned originally, by 2025, they will then remove completely the MSDT, Microsoft Support Diagnostic Tool platform completely from Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now, um, so what this means basically in a nutshell, um, that this means that future Windows 11 updates, like your Moment updates rolling out this year will be expected to be Moment 2 and Moment 3. Moment 2 arriving in February, March, as posted, Moment 3 possibly arriving in May, June. And then your next version release and major version upgrade of Windows 11, version 23H2, possibly rolling out in September and October, will not see um, some of those legacy troubleshooters and so on. And then moving into next year, 2024, where we could see Windows 11 24H2 roll out, or as I have posted previously, according to reports, a possible Windows 12. That means that after Windows 12, or 24H2 in 2024, um, we will not see um, a whole lot of these legacy troubleshooters and the MSDT tool um, in those operating systems. And as mentioned, then by 2025, so after Windows 11 24H2 and after Windows a possible Windows 12, we will not see uh, the Microsoft Support Diagnostic tool uh, in those operating systems. And that also means some of those legacy troubleshooters as mentioned. Now, um, just something to, something to take note of that Microsoft has said in that announcement. They say that if you are running Windows 11 version 22H2 and older, so that means Windows 11 version 21H2, Windows 10, Windows 8.1, Windows 7, or any other earlier OS version, your device will not be affected by the MSDT troubleshooter retirement so just take note of that this will only affect um, the next release of windows 11 so those will be the moment updates version 23 h2 windows 11 24 h2 or a possible windows 12 so just wanted to keep you in the loop if this deprecation and retirement was affecting you so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one